The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. <laughs> Feeling good, Lewis. Let's take a look here at the E-mini uh, S&P. Uh, this is a four-hour chart, so we can go back and see the past seven days. You can see here the high was the 78% retracement of the previous high that we had right back here. That's what we're looking at right there, spot on. And the thing we were paying very close attention to, of course, was this monster ABCD pattern that came in at uh, 442. The high has been 448. So if you're in this, you put your stop at your break-even point at 442. You're going to have to go through whatever the Fed does. Of course, they could do just about anything they want, and they usually do. But this is a five-day rally, uh, back, well, actually three-day rally, one, two, three. This is the third day of it coming in from the 27th, which would make five calendar days. So that should be the rally high if that's what it's going to be. It shouldn't get any higher than that. So if you sold it up there, you know, you've got a uh, pretty good handle on it as far as uh, risk control. So put your stop at break even right around 442, and uh, you should, you know, who knows what's going to happen, but uh, we'll see what's going on. All right, let's take a look here at the old Bondolis. This is where the real money is, folks. This is uh, much larger than the stock market itself. Let's get this up here. Many times larger, as a matter of fact. Here's what we've been waiting for, you see. We want to see if we can get these bonds to make it. Now, this goes back, an hourly chart, going back to, <clears throat> to the 11th of October. And here we are in November. And uh, we've, we've taken out the highs from here. I would have thought taking out the highs from this level would have accelerated to the upside. That's why I was looking at 111.16. And maybe when the Fed comes in, it'll hit 111.16 or something, you know, a whole lot higher. The thing is, though, if you look at this, look how many days. This is the 23rd, and here we're out here. That's an eight-day rally, and it hasn't gone any higher than a little bit. The last time we had a good rally, you see, it went from 108. You know, all the way up to, to 114, it rallied six points. This one's only rallied about uh, three and a half points. So it's a little disappointing to see that happening. Um, we don't have an ABCD here because these are equal. And this one goes a little bit higher, but stops right at the 50% level, which was uh, rather surprising to me that it stopped exactly at that point. If you drew that in, you'd be able to see that's where you are right then. I could see the resistance, but I was looking at this particular point right in here so that's it now when i listen to what's going on with the federal reserve i i don't quite understand it i always rely on shane smullion but i do rely on the bar charts that go up and down and we've got some good action going today and that's what we're looking at we had a question from one of our listeners about how the opening price works well the opening price was done you know let me see way back in this 80 so that's a 50 and 40 no what are you talking about it's done in the 70s so it's 63 years old it's done original one was done by uh, jim sibbett and earl hattity and uh market trends in pasadena california and back then you know we had markets opened just every day at 9 30 in the commodity markets uh, that was the uh, central time they usually closed around noon to one o'clock and they could use the opening price but now these overnight markets make it very very difficult however you can still use the opening price and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to, i haven't looked at apple for a long time and i'm going to look at it today we're just going to use it as an example of the opening price Okay, we're going to use eight minutes because that'll give us a pretty good idea of where we are. And so you come up here and you'll be able to see the real reason of Apple. See, now this is November. Okay, here's November 1st. Here's the opening right here, folks. That's the opening in the market right here. Let's try that again, Larry. There's the actual opening. This is pre-market. See, here's the actual. That's where the problem is, you see, because this is the pre-market. There's, there's your opening on the on the right. Try to get the words out slowly, Larry. This is the opening of the New York Stock Exchange at uh, 9.30 a.m. Um, 
New York time. Okay, so there it is right there. There's your opening right there. Now you can see we've been above the opening price all day. So if you're trading Apple, what you want to do is if you're above the opening price, which is right here, there it is. There's your open right here. If you're above the opening price, you want to be long. So you want to be looking for buys. So if you were trading Apple, just using some Fibonacci retracements or something, you would try to buy a nice retracement here. There's your 50% retracement if you wanted to buy that. And then always try to be a buyer because as long as you're above this, the bias is to the upside. Let me explain to you what that bias is. If you were a buyer here and stayed long during the day, the odds of you winning are better than 80%. If you're short from down in here, okay, some way, you know, you had a, a system that says to sell it short or whatever it was, and you're above the opening price, not good. That's where it gets really, really difficult. Let me give you an example if you put all this together, and that's part of what you do when you're doing these trading things. If you were to look at the small ABCD pattern here in Apple, see, there was your early morning high. You see the market came down, went up and made the exact ABCD pattern right here. Now, if you shorted that, okay, you shorted that 172, okay, your odds of winning at the end of the day will be less because you're so far above the opening price, you see? That's why you've got to look, look how you're going higher. So that's why you want to do it. So the question you ask yourself, if you're in something and you are short and you're above the opening price, I'm going to write it in here, boys and girls, so you can see it. The chances of you winning, hold on, let me see if I can learn how to do this, are less than 20%. Okay? If you are above the opening price and you're short, the chances of you winning are less than 20%. However, if you're long, okay, let's say you bought this retracement right here from the bottom. That was probably exactly 382, and there it was right there. There was 382. If you were long from that level, let's try the drum roll, Larry. Try the drum roll. The odds of you winning are greater than, let's see, hold on. If I do this correctly, I'll probably screw it up. Right, hold on. Just, I'm not too good with this stuff. It's greater than 20%. I hope I did this right. Uh, where's the percentage at? Boy, don't ever give an Italian a computer that doesn't know how to type, folks. I shouldn't have one anyway. Anyway, this would be your, this would be your odds of winning here is if you're above the open. Really simple. Ask yourself the question, if you're above the opening price, you want to be long below the opening price. You want to be short. That's the same thing is true of commodities or anything else, too. But the reason why stocks work better is because they opened at the exact time up until the uh, SOS bandits came on and they started trading overnight markets and stuff. So that's where it all that's where all the stuff happened. That's it was really going bonkers for many, many years. Uh, many people had hedge funds. Uh, Toby Crable had one based on the opening price right out of John Hill and I, the work that we had done together uh, many, many years ago. But that's where it all came together. I still watch it because if you're below the market, uh, you know, you don't want to be uh, long. If you're above the market, you don't want to be short. And that's the opening price. So there's your open. You want to try to stay long. Maybe it reverses. Doesn't make any difference. The odds are you got 80% of your chance if you're above that opening price. So I hope that makes sense. Holy cow, break coming up. we got some other things to cover. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I'm going to give you an example here with the futures here. This is the Dow Jones E-mini. There's your opening in the stock market right here at 930. You see, if you'd have been a buyer all this way, you were above the opening. You want to be long now. You didn't stop at the 382. You didn't stop at 50%. You didn't stop at 618. You finally stopped right here at the 78% level. So if you pick, picked one of these, and believe me, you're going to have to pick one or the other, that's how you decide whether you want to do this. Now, what I'm just watching the Dow as a perfect example, the reason why is the Dow's been lagging today. So you notice here that we had a drop from 33. We dropped 250 points in the Dow Jones, and now we're having a rally back. So the first thing I do is I want to see how it handles the 382 on the rally back. And that number comes in right about here at uh, 33,219. Uh, so I'm just going to put that limit minder in. So if we start getting above it, it tells us that we have a pretty good bullish bias. Now, the S&P and the NASDAQ are already above the 382. I just checked. But this has been the one that's been leading. So that's why I'm watching it so so very, very closely. Okay, now there's a couple of others that, that are uh, interesting to take a look at here. You know, we've been extremely bearish, the, uh, the, uh, the, the hello operator, the euro, for quite some time. Let me get the, here it is right here. This is an interesting one also, so give me one second here. I'm going to cover these one at a time so that we're able to do this with this new program that we have here at TFNN. It makes it really nice. Now, here's a euro with the big ABCDs. This is where we were recommending the short. If you remember the other day, that's a perfect ABCD. One point. This, hey, folks, this is a carbon copy of the Dow Jones. I mean, of the of the E mini. Uh, same thing. This is the same pattern. There's your there's your drive one. There's your drive two. There's your drive three. There it is, right there. This may not work, but this is what the this is what the this is what the Italian. Whoa, you almost went into that woke environment, Bubba. This is what the lovely Italian lady sings about: is uh, try to trade that. Now, what we tried to do was to sell this 382 retracement today. Of course, we missed it by about uh, 10 pips. Can't help that. But what we're looking at now, with the Federal Reserve coming in out here, uh, with this weakness here, the strength of the dollar. And we look at this a little bit farther down the road here with the U.S. dollar. You can see here that we could be looking at a move down here in the euro today at this level of 150. Now, that's not very far away, 105, folks. That's only 30 pips. So this is really, really super important. 
may may mean something, may mean nothing. Do not know. All I know is that's where the the Italian lady sings right here. This level right here, 105. That's a perfect A, B, C, D. You've got one, two, three days down. One, two, three, four days up. One, two. This is the third day down. This is where we should stop right in here. So if it doesn't, oh boy, good light, Charlie. You just take the weekly chart up and you're saying. We are going downtown. That means we either got to hold right here or we're going to be looking at something really sinister. And that would tell us we probably got looking at interest rates on the, on the tune of about uh, 9%. But we should stop the interest rates right here at about five, five and a quarter because they've gone from virtually nothing to five and a quarter. And this is where we should back off. But it means longer term. The bonds are in big trouble, folks. There's nothing else you can do. It. Here's the Euro Weekly. If you want to see that same pattern that we were looking at with the E-mini S&P up there at uh, 42, uh, 42, there it is again. A, B, C, D, three drives to a top. How about this one? Three drives to a bottom. And remember, be sure to use all your oscillators. Your percent R, always a good one. And then also, oh, I shouldn't do that. Some folks are really good with the oscillators. This old cowboy, he knows one thing, and that's A, B, C, D. And I know it seems silly, but that's what I do. And it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, all, I, all I can tell you is it's much better than that. Let me show you. If you get, here's one that was a tiny bit frustrating today. This is one we were looking at today with the, uh, with the, with the crude oil. You see here we had this. Uh, 382 retracement right here at 82.69. Now, when we trade crude oil, we have to risk $1,000. And of course, it went against you 700, and now it's in your favor about 1,300. So that one would have worked really nicely. Here was the place that, look at this. It takes out the previous 382, which was the high we made yesterday, by just a Two ticks, and then says goodnight, Charlie, and look at it breaking down right now. That's where people put their stops in at those previous highs and lows. That's where they get into trouble because there's no buying as you come up into that area. So it's important. Now, had you gotten in this and you waited, let's just look at this on a smaller time frame because I was watching it, but I got tied up uh, doing some other things. But this is after the uh, – let's get it in for today. There's, uh, there's the high today. Look at this, folks, after it started down, okay? Don't, what do we always talk about? Sell that first 382 retracement. So you could have sold this one or this one. Either one of those were right on the money. Let's take this big one right here. It stopped at the 618. Your difference between 283, that's 1770 bucks. But look at this one, folks. This is the same, same type of a move. You see you rallied from, from 8240. You rally up uh, 70 pips. Here you rally 70 pips. It takes you to 40. The high was 37, and I'll bet you a nickel to a donut. That was a 382, and we'll move it up to the last level right here. And there it was, right at the 382. What do we got? We got another one. Just happened just a little rally ago. 382 again. What does that tell you? Crude oil is bearish, so that's why we're going down. We did get up to 50% on this one, but we're coming down to some pretty good support here in the crude oil here at 81, uh, 81 even. We move this over a little bit. You'll see we're going to be almost at the, oh, no, we're already below the 78% level. So that's a negative no-no. Uh, so that looks like we're still heading down uh, a little bit more to the downside. I wanted to do, uh, before we get into the next segment here, where I'm going to go over some of these MAGA stocks, because a lot of people are in stocks and I don't trade stocks. I think they're great, but you know they don't give you the leverage and stuff that, uh, nor the liquidity. You know, for you know, and I, I, they're just slow, folks. That's just all there is to it. I, I should learn to do it because of that. But let's take a quick look at one that's really important, and we're getting really close, folks. This is the Canadian dollar. If you remember here, I'm going to get the daily up. This is what we're waiting for. This is where the. This is where the Italian. <laughs> You're not going to trick me. This is where the Italian lady sings, boys and girls. Now, look at this. Okay, let's just walk through this for a minute here. If you believe in the A, B, C, D to the upside right here, you should believe in the A, B, C, D to the downside right here. Either do it or, or go find something else. Because if you can't do this trade right in here, we're right at right this level. It might stop right here at 71.98. I think it's going to go lower 
We've already taken out the stops. And look, there was nothing there. I mean, there's nobody selling down in here. See, before when you took out these stops, look how it went down. See, there's, there's, nobody, there's nobody selling this thing. Sure, it's a little bit lower, but how much is it lower? <laughs> Believe it or not, this is $100 in the Canadian dollar. This is ready to make a bottom, boys and girls. It really is. So watch these numbers here. I'm trying to buy right there. There's the A, B, C, D. I got my stop right below here. That's only $300. Shut the front door, razor man. Let's take a look at something else here. Before we come back to our break, we will wait. Pay a few bills, 877-927-6648. Tires. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Tim Ord joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors bull bear ratios, and the trend panic levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN. Educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is Apple. As you can see here, we have um, just about made the 1.618 expansion there. It hit it pretty much within a half a dollar. We're up $7 in the last few days. You can see a small ABCD uh, going in here. So this could be the bottom. You know, this we've already might have made a bottom back there on the 27th that we were so bullish about. And now we're into this real strong rally. And believe me, if the Fed comes out and surprises, and believe me, folks, when they say there's going to be, I mean, I heard the unanimous thing here on Bloomberg and CNBC. There's absolutely no way that the Fed's going to do anything today. They're just going to talk. Yep. That may be the case, but if you believe that, 
you know, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge available at a cheap price, uh, margin included. So I don't believe a word they say. Be sure to God's sake that you put your stop in. If you sold that uh, number we were looking up there at 42.42 in the S&P, have your stop at break even. You might even get a bad fill, but at least you'll be out and you'll know you're wrong. So that's it. So that's Apple. Okay, now the next one, we're going to do these one at a time here so that I could uh, – I've had a request to do them. So after Apple comes Amazon. Uh, this one also has been uh, doing relatively well. You can see it's up again today. Hold on one second. Uh, now this could be a rally in a bear market if this is if the, if the Fed surprises everybody. I'm not sure they're going to or not, but let's just draw this up so we can all see it just a little bit better here. Move it over just a little bit. Ah, it's too hard to move over. You know what? I'll just get rid of Apple which is right behind here. Now we can see Amazon a little bit better. There's Amazon right here. You can see we had, to, it stopped right at the 382 and look what it's done. You know, just in a few days, we've gone from 120 up to 135 and Amazon stopped right there. I mean, we've had this in there for weeks, you know, so sometimes these numbers work, but that's what's happening. Look how bullish it is today. You know, this, let's just look, you can see how it gapped up. If you looked at this on a, uh, on a uh, opening morning, you're going to see what it looks like, and you're going to see why. There's your there's your open look. You see how there's your opening right there. Look, it's been above it all day long, so you don't want to fade that. That's a main thing to pay attention to. Okay, now we're going to get the next one that comes up. Uh, I believe the next one after that is, uh, I believe this is Broadcom. It's also one that uh, is in the. Uh, yep, it is Broadcom. You'll see this one is also holding up. Now, this is the bottom that we had. Now, you notice on this rally right here, we've gone nowhere for four days. All we've been able to do, whereas Amazon's gone, you know, way up here, all we've done is from the high that we made back here to the low, I think we made the 382. No, we went a little above it. We went above the uh, 382. We're right at, we're trading at it right now, as a matter of fact, at 843, just as a, but it, that's just a four day quiet rally. That means that market could still go a whole lot lower. And if we look at it from the high, it doesn't even come close uh, to a 382 today. That would have been up at this level right here. So you can see the difference in the, you know, between Broadcom and Apple. And let's go on to the next one. We'll get rid of that and we'll move over to the old little one over here we called uh, Tesla. Hold on a second here. I have to do the – oh, we got to do Google first. That's the next one in line. And that's also been one that has been, uh, been pretty good. But lately it's been a little bit of a dog. You see we almost made the 382, folks. Look at this. The 382 came in at 120 and the low on the stock was 121. It missed it by $1. And that's a big gap in here, too, so you got to be really, really careful of that. But look at the rally here. Same thing. It's not like the rally in Amazon. This this is doing nothing. So that's another uh, negative. Okay, we're going to take a look at uh, Tesla next, uh, unless I can remember what the other ones are. Oh, Meta, here's in, uh, not, a, not one of my favorite stocks, but uh, who knows? This is really bullish, that's for sure. You can see here. You talk about a really bullish stock. <laughs> this couldn't even back off at all. I mean, it just it makes a higher high. It doesn't go anywhere. It's just been really strong. And the same thing coming back. There was your low here on the 27th. Look where we rallied. We've already made, going back here, we've already made the uh, a 61% retracement. Came Well, came real close. Yesterday at the 311 was a 61% retracement, so it held up pretty good. Those of you, those of you folks, that like A, B equals C, D pattern, stay tuned for the drum roll. There it is, and boom, we're going to show you one right now. Just to show you, yeah, they don't work all the time, but by golly, they work some of the time, and therein lies the key. So, okay, let's move on to Tesla, because everybody likes to see Tesla. And, oh, we got to do NVIDIA first, and then we'll move on to the next one here. And uh, we'll get moving over. Tomorrow, our guest will be Stan Harley, and you'll be able to really enjoy him. Now, this is one that is, this thing is really bullish, folks, long term. But look what's happened after, it's been down, I think it's down 17% since the high was made. But again, look what we did, just what, this might have been yesterday, folks. There's AB. There's CD. 
the number is supposed to be 387, and we got to, uh, wow, low was 392, so it missed it by $5. Now, that may mean that this is a real bottom in here. You know, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, let's move on here to Meta. We've already covered Meta. Let's do Tesla, and then we'll get on with a couple other questions that someone's asked about. And uh, I'll talk a little bit. Hold on one sec second, Tesla, in here. I'm really looking forward to the one here that we're going to do in the live trading on the 15th of November because I'm going to be focusing on making money. We've got five hours together. Uh, I got about an hour and a half teaching, but we got a lot of trading that we can do uh, with this kind of stuff, and that's what we're trying to do. You can see Tesla's made the ABCD to the downside. Uh, we went a little bit below. Uh, see, we're looking at the 1.27. Let's measure the ABCD, see what it came to. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right here. <laughs> oh, gee. Let me see. The low was uh, 93... 94. 94 was a low, and it was supposed to be 91 and a half. It missed by a little bit, but look, folks, it's gone nowhere. So this is another one that may be uh, a little suspect. See, only Google is the one that's, of all these other stocks, Google is the one that's been the, uh, the, been the best one, uh, you know, of the group. So I think that's important to uh, pay close attention to that. Okay, now let's get back to the pedal to the metal. We've got a question here about the uh, crude oil again let me get this up here and uh, we'll pull crude here's where we are and uh, let's get moving up here right here all righty we're still heading down okay all right this is just a an eight minute chart of what's happening today okay and i'm just going to show you where we are because this is where we should come to folks if it's any good it's not going to get any lower than where it is right about now because the reason why is the now remember these are all short-term abcd patterns but abcd patterns if you're trading short term and if you're trading this darn thing it's you know it's eighty three thousand dollars the margins on it six okay so if you're if you make a six hundred dollars on something you put eight grand up you put eight up eight grand up on a stock you got to put fifty uh, percent margin so you got to get an eight dollar move just to make ten percent. With this, you can do it in a day because of the volatility. Here we're going to see one more, and then we'll be right back. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I've got an example here of a trade set up here. It's natural gas funded trade. Uh, anyway, if you'll notice here from the low we made down here yesterday to the high, last night and early this morning, we came all the way back to the 61% retracement of that move right here. From that level, we rallied up to the 61% retracement. Okay, now that's a move uh, down of around uh, $2,000, and on the way up, rally is about 1200 That's 618 12 into 20 and now we're backing off. Now here... We talked about Isaac was asking about the opening price. Well, here's an example. There's your opening of the regular market for the futures. They're not overnight, but there's where the opening starts. And you rally up. And look, you're above the open now. So if you want to be a buyer, you want to be looking for an ABCD pattern. And there's one right here. We're going to blow this up. I'm going to take a look at it. And I just did this trade. Whether it works or not, I don't know. But from your load up to your high, there's your X point ABCD. And there's your 61% retracement came right in here at, uh, at 48. I bought it at uh, 48 and a half. The low was, uh, well, God, I got filled on the low. God, that never happens. Uh, 40, 48 and a half. And the risk on this would be down here at 46. So you'd be risking about $200 on this. But you're above the opening price, okay? And you're making an ABCD, so you're trading with a longer trend. Now, remember, this is just a 13-minute chart, but for 13 minutes, that's a lifetime. So that's what you're watching. You've got the ABCD. You're above the open, so you know the odds of you winning today are better than than a 4-1 to one in your favor. I mean, show me a football team where you can get 4-1 to one odds. Well, you could get maybe Oklahoma playing against Mission High School here in Tucson, but that's about it. So anyway, let's, that's what we're watching. Whether it works or not, I don't know. It goes below this level right here at uh, 346. You're wrong. You take a, you'd have to take a $200 loss, and you say thank you very much, and I'll go back to trading my moving averages, and that's all you can do about it. So I just wanted to bring this one to your attention. One other question someone's asked me over here. Now get over here. I'll get this one second. Hold on one second here. Personally, I think that uh, there's the question of <laughs> – person asked me what do I think is going to happen and let's get the bonds up here's where the problem lies is in the bond market but the boys over at the Federal Reserve let me just correct this darn thing window tile vertical the problem is they're they're going to be playing games in the bond market where is the bond bond dolies where are you you're here somewhere here is where we are okay there's the bonds okay now the Federal Reserve has to sell a lot of bonds because they borrowed money the debt's a trillion dollars, uh, thir uh, $33 trillion. The only way they can get rid of this is by selling bonds. Okay, People do not like to sell things that go down, so they got to get a rally in these things to get people to come in and buy them. They've got a chance, and I'll show you. We've talked about this too many times. There's your weekly. We're setting right on major support. They could come in here and really surprise some people today, and that wouldn't be bullish. That would not be bearish to stocks because – they realize that that's, you know, unless this would be a flight to quality, which I don't think you're going to see. But look at this. This thing has come down now, 
for seven months, April through October, with hardly any rallies. So, and we're right near the big ABCD down here at 107. So that's why I, you know, I told people last night. I said, you know, you, you got to have a bullish bias on the bonds just because of the technical picture of what they're looking at. But frankly, you know, the Fed, <laughs> they can do anything they want, and they usually do. So I'm just saying, and this could fail. Look, see, we only rallied here a little bit. Did, here we had a big rally. Here we had a big rally. Here we got nothing. So this might might not have made the low. And we've got a caller. Are you kidding me? Shut the front door and raise the rent. And it's Jeff from Philly. How are you doing, Jeff? What can I do for you? I'm doing great, Larry. Hi, how are you? I am fine, my friend. What are you, What's your question? I got a, a real simple question for you. Yes, sir. Uh, let's say that I wanted to – I'm going to ask you for – uh, your, your top pick for a futures to trade uh, in response to the FOMC announcement today at two o'clock. So you know, let it let it go. I'm not going to try to trade it before the announcement. <laughs> but let's say they they're going to make the announcement. Let's say something starts to trend, and I want to watch it for a three two retracement and then continue the trend. And okay. uh, other than bonds, what would be your number one oh. pick for a futures to trade that way? Well, okay, other than bonds, uh, my number one pick would be the bonds. In other words, <laughs> the, no, no, you, you, if you're going to make me make a prediction, let me play with my rules, okay? <laughs> okay, here's, okay what here's would be your be, top two then? No, I, I, no it would be the euro. I'd, I'd be watching the okay. euro below around 105. Or The best one would, to me would be the Canadian dollar at 71.60. That's the one I would like. That's a triple bottom. It's got everything there. There's been virtually no selling into it. There could be some stops down in here, but 7160, you can play with that for 400 bucks, but that would be my first pick. My the second pick would be the bonds here at 111 uh, 11118. And the reason why I'd be doing that is you have a 10-day rally. You've got an ABCD, you've got double ABCDs in here for sure. You can see another one. We'll just draw it in, so let the sports fans see it. There's your AB pattern right there. It's going to get up in here, right here. So this is what I would be watching here. But we made this 50% retracement here, and we took out the highs. There was no buying in here, folks, and this is a big market. Why wasn't there more buying? It hasn't backed off much, but it's backed off enough. It's backed off about a half a point, which, you know, why wasn't someone in there willing to buy this if it's taking out this high? So this would be my number one pick, and number two pick would be the Canadian dollar. Uh, buying that at that 7160 level it's trading at 05 right now i just saw it at 05 somewhere in here uh, oh it's 72 even so it's not very far away so those are the ones that i'm looking at okay great an extremely clear answer thank you very and, much and not only that if one of them happens to be right i'll be 50 percent if i'm 0 for zero then that's zero percent if i'm right i'll be 100 percent. so you pick your take your uh, take your choice <laughs> i will get my checkbook ready <laughs> for you hey jeff thank you so much <laughs> and i hope to see you during the holidays okay that'd uh, be nice all right thank you larry take care you bet all right folks let's move on here we only got a, a minute to go we have one other question and that's about the gold market where the prediction on the gold here's where we were uh last night we had the rally those of you that like the gold we talked about this because we were looking at this 382 right here and i will just show it to you we'll just clean this all out really quickly here this was a 382 early in the morning when I sent the video out. I said, you got to sell 96 because it's a 382. And there it was right there. It came down, down to 90. And, of course, there was your 382 off of the bottom. So if you sold it here, we recommended put a stop at break even because we could go to there. And what was that, boys and girls? Yes, Johnny, I'm going to draw it. Just be patient. Come on, young man. Have another bite of that peanut butter sandwich, okay? Look at that, right on the old button up there at 04, high being five and a half. And look what it does. It drops $2,000 without even a bounce. And now we're getting a little bit of a bounce from here, from the high down to the low. The 382 would come in up around this spot right here. So, well, we got the big boy. He's going to be talking here in about 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, keep your fingers crossed. May God bless and hope all your trades do work out. We got some more coming up. But we've got to pay a bill or two right now. So stay with us, and we'll be right back.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So bear, 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 bear with me. we got something going on. The Limit Minders just came on here. I wanted to share this with you. Uh, here is the Dow Jones making a 382 retracement. You notice here, you're just making a 382 retracement with your ABCD pattern in here. Of course, we got the Fed in here coming up in a minute. So, you know, these using a stop here probably not going to mean very much, but there's your ABCD at the 382. And of course, in about 15 minutes, it'll probably be trading up here, up about 6,000 points, but you never know. That's why you got to have a stop working in there, if nothing else. But that's what you're, that's what you're looking at right here, uh, right now. Uh, that's pretty much it. So look, remember, tomorrow's guest will be Stan Harley. And Stan has been nailing these dates just really great. So try to listen to what he has to say. Then next week, we're going to have uh, Bill Meridian of Cycles Research uh, as our guest, Jim Bartolioni of uh, Bart's Charts, and then also uh, Mr. Joe DiNapoli of uh, Places Unknown. But Joe will be our guest, too. So we'll have three big guests next week uh, to start off the uh, – well, we're starting off the month of – can you believe this is the month of October, November, folks? Shut the front door. There's only 54 days left till Christmas, so get your shopping list out. That's what we're watching here today. So uh, say your prayers that your uh, orders are in, and you're going to see what happens. And uh, we'll have to go from the level of what we're looking at here, but – uh, we'll see what the Fed has to say. That's pretty much what we're looking at. I hope your uh, all trades work out. If they don't, there'll always be something coming back the next day, and that's what you want to be watching for 
is to catch that next train when it moves down the road. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And uh, we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. It's always a lot of fun. Uh, one other thing I'd like to mention, I've got a few seconds here. Do something nice for your neighbors, folks, because, you know, I live in a neighborhood where we got a lot of elderly people. A lot of them just need you to go to pick up something at the market or uh, have a prescription filled for them, but try to help them out. They can't drive. And even, you know, make a meal for them once in a while. You can make a hamburger or a little uh, meatballs and spaghetti once in a while, but do something nice for them and uh, try to help anybody during the holidays, especially because being alone without anything in the holidays is not fun. And sometimes the holidays are not even fun when you got a lot of people around. So we'll flip the side tomorrow and see what's going on. And may God bless.